Hi, and welcome to another course in MicroStrategy's Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled Calendar Widget. The Calendar Widget for iPad displays daily events in month, week, and day views. You can color code events and associate images with each event. In this course, you will learn how to incorporate the Calendar Widget into your app. I will show you an example application and then demonstrate how to configure the widget in MicroStrategy Web. In this example, the calendar widget displays the agenda for the MicroStrategy World event that took place in Las Vegas from January 27th to January 31st of 2013. The user can navigate forward and backward in time and toggle between views. Tapping events in the calendar reveals tooltips with more information. The search box at the top enables the user to find a specific event. For instance, I can type cloud in the search box to display a tappable list of all of the events with cloud in their names. Here we have the event type, title, and description for each event. I've also chosen to display an image for each event. The user can scroll to see all of the events that take place on the selected day. I'll now switch to MicroStrategy Web and explain the data requirements for the calendar widget. At least two attributes are required in the rows. The first attribute must be of date type and the second attribute represents the events. The rest of the attributes are optional. If there is a third attribute, such as type, it is used to color code the events. Any additional attributes display in tooltips and in the day view. Let's look at the attribute forms for the event attribute. The first attribute form for event corresponds to the event title. The rest of the attribute forms are optional. The second form corresponds to the description and any additional attribute forms correspond to images to display in day, week, and month views respectively. Now I will demonstrate how to add a calendar widget to a document. In MicroStrategy Web, in design mode, drag the calendar widget to the canvas and size it appropriately. Right-click the widget and select Properties and Formatting. In the widget area, in the drop-down list, point to Mobile and select Date Selection. Here is the completed document on the iPad. You have learned how to add the calendar widget to your apps. In the rest of this video, I will show you how to customize the calendar widget and extend its functionality. First, to customize formatting, switch to Flash Mode in MicroStrategy Web. The calendar widget doesn't display because it is only viewable on the iPad, but we can still edit the properties for the widget. Right-click and select iPad Properties. Recall that by default, month views display all of the days in the month. This first setting enables you to change month view so that it displays one column for each week in the month. You can change the font color for the month heading by using the color picker or entering a hexadecimal value. I'll use the perfect shade of red. For the colors of the event headers, you can stick with the default, which is to color based on the values for the third attribute. Alternatively, you can use an attribute form that contains hexadecimal values. If you go with the option to color by attribute, you can change the color scheme using the pickers at the bottom of this window. I'm going to go for a more pastel look. Here's the result on the iPad. You can see that the month header is now dark red and that month view displays all of the weeks in the selected month rather than displaying days. In addition, there's a new color palette for event headers. There are additional steps you can take to modify how the user can interact with the widget. Earlier, you saw how users can search for events by name using the search box in the top right. If you have a lot of events in your calendar, you may also want to enable the user to filter the calendar widget. In this example, I've added an information window that enables the user to filter based on the event type. For example, a user that is really into eating and networking could filter to see only eating and networking events.
As you saw earlier, the default is for tapping an event to display a tooltip with information about the event. If you want, instead of using tooltips, you can create your own information window to display when a user taps an event. To add this effect, you need to target the information window using an attribute with a numerical ID column. In this case, I added an event identifier column to the dataset. The information window I added to the document enables the user to register for events. The user can tap an event to write back to a database or a web service. As you've seen, there are several options for refining and extending the functionality of the calendar widget after you have added it to your app. And that's a wrap for this MicroStrategy Mobile App Developer Academy course on the calendar widget.